So thank you so much for being here um, and for looking at our program here at the Mendoza College of Business here at the University of Notre Dame. We are highlighting the Masters of Science in Finance um, as our program, um, specifically our career center and our career um, employment, uh, career development, I'm sorry, career development uh, center here that we have here on campus. Um, my name is Gabriela Hernandez Gonzalez and I'm an assistant director of admissions here. Um, and then our academic director, uh, Dr. Catherine Spies, although she is not here, she's a lovely person to meet. Um, and I want to make sure she's highlighted every single time. And then Mindy, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, all. Welcome. I'm Mindy Evans. I'm the Master's of, of Science and Finance career coach here at Notre Dame, and I work on a team of specialized master's coaches. Um, we have one assigned to our accountancy program, one on our management program, one with business analytics, and one with nonprofit administration. So we work as a team. And um, I specifically focus on working with Masters of Science and Finance students. Yes, so you will, you will work with the lovely Mindy here, yeah. here at our Career Center. Um, so as we are navigating our time together, I just kind of want to give you a brief overview before we jump right in. Um, we're going to do some introductions, we're gonna, which we already did. We're going to jump into our mission here at the University of Notre Dame, specifically the Mendoza College of Business. Then we're gonna go over what the Career uh, Development Center does. Um, what can you do as prospective students, um, as well as look, understanding our website, and then overall the uh, employment report, which we released um, in January. Um, and then we're gonna have a small segment for questions at the end. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A and we'll try to answer them as we go along or we'll save some time at the end to answer them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the chat now at this point, um, but I'm going to turn it over to Mindy. Thanks, Gabriella. So um, Notre Dame has a special mission here for the Career Development Center. Our mission is to help students obtain, whoa, as you can see on your screen, sorry, obtain careers that allow them to be their best and to have a positive impact on their organizations, communities, and family. Sorry, I don't have that memorized yet. Um, but specifically, we do a lot on the front end to help you understand yourself better um, and to help you understand the marketplace and the opportunities available to you better. Also, we teach you job skills and um, job search skills and communication skills that'll help you throughout your career, not with just your first outcome out of college, but for the long term. Um, our mission, sorry, our mission is a little bit different than our mantra. We like to say, give a man a fish and it will teach him to fish for a day. It'll feed him for a day. Give him, teach him how to fish and he'll feed him for a lifetime. So that's a Chinese proverb that we feel is definitely distinguishes us as a development center as opposed to a career services. We aren't a placement service. We don't find jobs for our students. We show students how to um, have successful job search skills and their strategy and to help them find jobs for themselves. So um, that's what we do here. That's our mantra. Um, if you can see the next phase or the next screen, sorry. Um, you'll learn here. Uh, that's what we do in the very beginning. What are the strengths that make you unique? If you want full-time work post-grad, where do you want to work? What segment of the financial services industry do you want to work in? Do you want to work in real estate, private equity, investment banking, corporate banking, consulting? Um, what part of those industries interests you? What makes you a good fit for those industries? That's a lot of what we do in the very beginning is discernment and learning. The second thing you'll do in this, this process is you'll engage with alumni and employers during our on-campus events. Um, you'll get comfortable with presenting your own personal elevator pitch. Um, you'll do that millions of times at career fairs as well as um, through LinkedIn messaging with alumni. Um, you will act on your job search strategy through networking, applying, interviewing. And the last thing you'll do is decide on your postgraduate plans. And you know, hopefully you will have more than one offer to choose from and we'll teach you how to negotiate and leverage those offers. 
Um, but that is our acronym LEAD, and that's what we're teaching you to do through Bridge to Success courses. Um, the next slide. Let's see. So appointments are made here. Um, we do three things. We coach you. Um, that's the first thing we do. Appointments are made through Handshake, and you have to have an active profile on Handshake in order to book a coaching session. I know a lot of you are coming from undergrad with Handshake profiles already, but you will have your own personal Notre Dame Handshake profile. There's no way to transfer your current undergraduate profile over to Handshake. Um, you'll have two separate ones, and then actually that's a wonderful advantage because you'll be able to leverage both of your networks then, um, one from your undergrad and one from your master's program. But you'll be deciding about your postgraduate plans. If you want to full-time work postgrad, where do you want to work? Um, answering questions about what makes us unique, what are my strengths? We use the Clifton Strengths themes. There are 34 different themes that help you leverage your strengths. And we, at the very beginning um, of the Bridge to Success class, use those results in a specific way. Um, that Bridge to Success module itself is a one credit course and it focuses focusing on networking, um, job search approach, the two hour job search strategy, is a book by Steve Dalton that we follow as well. Um, one of the one of the modules is in Becoming Irish requests that you you take your resume and you run it through VMOC. Um, this is mandatory before you're able to have your resume reviewed here at the Career Development Center. So that's a, a platform that we use to help get it into a standardized format. Um, another module is sort of getting rid of the nervous gestures and ticks and focusing on your strengths and your stories, um, your truths, your authentic, authentic self. Um, and then evaluating and negotiating offers is one of the final modules then. Uh, next slide. Another thing we do in the Center for Career Development is events. So we participate with undergrads, fall career fair, um, as well as the spring career fair. And those two career fairs details are always uploaded um, into a centralized site called careerfair.nd.edu. Uh, all of those, both of those events, sorry, are all colleges career fairs. So there are satellite events that are also specific to students in the ITAO um, college, as well as marketing, meet the firms, accounting, meet the firms. Um, the Connective is the tech event. Uh, and both all, all of those satellite events specialize in a certain area, whereas the all colleges career fairs have employers from all industries. So um, the virtual consortium actually is one of the events that we also do here in our office with a consortium. So we work with seven different business schools to bring their students as well as our students together so it's like a one-stop shop for employers. They get to see students from different master's programs at different campuses. Um, our consortium is with Cornell, University of Michigan, Georgetown, UVA, University of Texas, Austin, Vanderbilt, and Duke. So next slide. Um, what can you do to improve your chances of receiving the kind of outcome and ensuring your career success. If you really take the time to understand your strengths and how they make you unique, this is maybe one of the biggest hurdles. Um, it's hard to do some self-actualization, but this is actually the time to do it. And who you are and what you want to contribute and why, um, it's pretty deep and it can be confusing, uh, but that is one of the biggest hurdles in taking time to really evaluate your strengths. Also getting involved, um, it's a great resume builder. There's many opportunities to be involved in the MSFA clubs. Um, there are several MBA clubs that are open to our master's students as well. Um, utilizing your career coaching resources is another one. Uh, scheduling one-on-one -on -one meetings with us. That is definitely a way to ensure your career success is keeping us abreast of, of the steps that you're taking and giving yourself some accountability, you know, reporting to someone about what you're actually doing to promote your, your job search strategy is, it's really helpful. Networking is hard, but at first, but it becomes a lot easier with practice. So I, I know a lot of our students 
to say, you know, just feel so awkward. We teach you uh, several ways in which it kind of gets rid of the nervous gestures and ticks and makes it a much more natural thing. Um, also, of course, our alumni network, it's first in class. So, you know, it, it definitely leveraging our network is going to be to your benefit and all, as well as going to events. Um, and last but not least, taking accountability, you know, show up. If you say you're going to attend a career fair one-on-one -on -one session and an employer sits in that Zoom session and waits for you to show and you never show, um, that not only hurts your brand, but it hurts our brand as well. You know, we want our students to rise to the occasions and the expectations they set for themselves. So um, those are the things that we think can help you and what you can do. Um, if you want to take a look at the next slide, this is our career development website. It's new. So um, if you want to scan that, there are a lot of resources there that you can take a look at in advance of um, coming to campus. So that might be helpful to you. Um, the next slide sort of gets into our outcomes. So 100% um, of our students in the class of 22 received um, outcomes and accepted those offers as well. Um, 80,000 was the median salary of those offers. Uh, I think the high salary was 110, and I think the low was 47,000, something like that. Um, but if you wanna take a look at the next slide, oh wait, actually, before you do that, sorry, go back, Gabriella, the, that scan code, that QR code there, will take you to the actual um, employment report. That is the, uh, that's the link to that actual employment report. I'm gonna give you a few highlights in the next screen. You can go to the next screen right now. Um, here are a couple of the opportunities that uh, our students received. People often ask um, what kinds of jobs are students getting coming out of the MSF program? These are um, just a list of some of the roles, advisory consultant, capital markets analyst, um, just make this a little bit bigger. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to read. Consultant, credit analyst, data analyst, finance leadership development programs, financial analyst, investment banking analyst, investments analyst, junior audit associates, private banking analysts, private equity analysts, strategy and operations analysts. You know, and a lot of times students ask me, you know, what can I do right now? What can I do to ensure success for when I'm graduating? And one of the things you can do is explore some of those roles, you know, look up what it means to be an advisory consultant, um, capital markets analyst. If you're not sure if you want to get into real estate, private equity, um, IB consulting, if you're not sure what you want to do, explore some of these roles, find out what they actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, leverage your undergrad, um, find on LinkedIn alumni that are in these roles and see if they have time for a 15 minute informational interview, find out what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, what they like about their jobs, what they don't like about their jobs. It's just really helpful to um, pick someone's brain who's actually in the inside, on the inside of this network and find out what they actually enjoy. Um, and then the, I think our last slide here is regarding questions. So if you have any specific questions that you wanna address or you need additional information, I'm happy to answer any specific questions you have. I'm at mevans8 at nd.edu. And then I think Gabriella's is msf.business at nd.edu. So any yes. specific questions. Um, and really quickly before we jump into questions, I wanna make sure that everybody knows um, that we do have an application fee waiver code um, for your use. 